Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I'm Josh Meyer of joshmeyervideo.com. I'm a professional voice talent. I've done over 3,000 paid voiceovers and counting. I got into that through writing music, and I just so happen to be an expert in audacity. So today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the How to Create Your Own Custom EQs course, and what I'm going to do is share with you the EQ basics. Um, once we start moving on to, you know, EQing the speaking voice cheat sheet, I'm probably going to have to cut it there. But the basics, that's something that I feel great about giving to you all for free. There's a lot of valuable um, information and knowledge in this. However, you know, uh, once we get to the, uh, the cheat sheet and beyond, I'm going to have to cut it. Uh, that's reserved for, um, for the paid, the paid course. So, uh, and also it's not fair, you know, to everybody who's paid, but if you're curious as to what the heck is going on here, you know, basically this PDF right here, read me first. It's just saying, congratulations. You're about to have the ability to manipulate audio at will for life. And also me saying that all of the female and male voices that I've EQ'd throughout this course, I've included the vocal samples so that you could EQ along with me at home while I'm sharing all of the tips, tricks, tactics, why I'm doing what I'm doing and what we're looking for and what we're looking to achieve. And basically I spill the beans. This, this course will change your audio forever. So I'm not going to be able to share all of this stuff with you, but I can definitely share the basics for sure. And there's a lot of valuable knowledge in there for you. So if you're wondering what's going on in these other folders, every single folder has a video of me EQing, going over all these different scenarios. We start with a warm up. Well, we start with the basics, then we do a warm up. And then right here, we really start to get cooking. And I've hand selected all of these different voices with, you know, different um, qualities to the recording so that we have all of these scenarios and different types of voices. Um, it's, it's gold. It's gold. But either way, I digress. Without further ado, what I'm going to do, so I've created these PDFs. I also made a video of me going over the PDFs with you all. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to turn my face off play the video, and then once we get to EQing the speaking voice cheat sheet, I'm going to have to cut it there. But stay tuned, sit back, relax. There is a ton of valuable information in this. And of course, if you're curious about the course, feel free to reach out. I'm extending the offer of $99 for a little bit, feeling generous. Uh, but it's going to be 175 soon, and that's an absolute steal. No question about it. No question about it. So, without further ado, let me turn my face off, and uh, let's go ahead and play the video. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome and congratulations. If you're watching this, you're one step closer to achieving that professional sound you've always been looking for and one step closer to having the ability to manipulate audio at will forever. So before we actually go in and start EQing, I think it's a good idea that we just cover some of the basics, some of the fundamentals of vibration, frequency, and hertz, and just have a nice basic understanding. So I put these PDFs together for you all that are going to be available for download just as you know a part of the package. So I thought it would be a good idea for me to make a video going through this with you. So let's start out. All sound is vibration. The speed of the sound's vibration is called frequency. So if we have a low frequency vibration, that's going to equal a low pitch, a low pitch. Now, if we have a high frequency vibration, that's going to be a higher pitch. And we could think of this as a guitar string. The more that we tighten a guitar string, when we pluck it, the more it will vibrate and the higher the pitch will be. We could also think about a rubber band. Watch this, I totally botch it. Yeah. 
the more that we stretch it, the higher pitch it becomes. <laughs> You'll have to forgive my my um, rubber band plucking skills, yes, but please I think that. you get the idea. Which brings me to the next point. The frequency of sound is measured in cycles per second. This is also known as Hertz. Now this is relevant because as I'm sure most of you know, when we're looking at the graphic EQ or the filter curve, it's going to be measured in Hertz. So I think it's a good idea. We just have a basic understanding of what Hertz are. So Hertz cycles per second are the rate of vibration. So if we had one cycle per second, that would be one Hertz. Can't hear that. Um, we could hear, we could feel something low, but I'm not even sure one Hertz, but that was just an example. A hundred cycles per second. We can definitely hear that. That's a hundred Hertz, 500 cycles per second, 500 Hertz, so on and so forth. Cool fact for you all, the human hearing ranges from 20 Hertz to 20,000 Hertz. Now 20,000 Hertz is going to say 20 K. So the moment we look at the graphic EQ and the filter curve, the moment it gets to 1,000, it's not going to say 1,000. It's going to say 1K, 2K, 3K, so on and so forth. What K means is kilo. So it'd be one kilohertz is 1,000 hertz. 5,000 hertz is five kilohertz or 5K. 20,000 hertz is 20 kilohertz or 20K, so on and so forth. Now, two common, two common uh, types of EQs that we are going to be using are parametric EQ, also known as the filter curve in Audacity, and we also have the graphic EQ. So some of the benefits to the filter curve, very precise, not limited, has free range. Now, graphic EQ, still, still precise, but easy to use, still works wonders. You all will love the graphic EQ. So some common terms. Oh, before we move on, let me just show you a few photos. So right here, we're looking at the filter curve. The next photo that I bring up is going to be this filter curve in graphic EQ. So I actually built this filter curve off of the graphic EQ that I had initially made. So this is the graphic EQ. So once again, this is the same EQ that you just saw on the filter curve, except it is in Graphic EQ. And Graphic EQ has these nice little sliders. It's going to make things very easy for us. And I'm also going to show you how to build um, EQs in the filter curve, um, no question. So don't you worry, we're going to make this stuff super easy for you all. Super easy, like silly easy. Anyway, some common terms to know. Low pass filter. So low pass filter, it cuts out the high pitch and lets the low pitch pass through. Low pass filter, low pitch pass through. High pass filter allows the high pitch to pass through, cuts out the low pitch. So let's look at a low pass filter. So here's a low pass filter. So the lower pitches are unaffected right here at zero. And I just set the line here just for example's sake. And I said, okay, we're going to filter out. We're cutting out the high end. We're leaving the low end unaffected. So that's a low pass. The low is passing through, the high is being cut out. Now here is a high pass filter. So the low is being cut out. And once again, I just made this for an example. Um, the low is being cut out, the high is able to pass through unaffected right here at the line. Okay, so EQing the voice. Let's talk about where we start to actually come in on the scale. So men register anywhere from, men start coming in anywhere from about 80 Hertz to 125 Hertz. Uh, I'd like to say that men on average come in at about 100 Hertz. Women uh, start coming in around 165. They have a higher pitch voice on average. Some women have lower voices, um, so they will come in at 125. Uh, I had one woman one time, very low pitch, was, was registering a little bit in, in 100. So that's going to be the rare case. So things to note is that our vocal cords 
may not register in some of these higher frequencies and hertz, but sounds that we make when we speak will, such as sibilants, S, sharp S's, T's, and CH. S, my vocal cords weren't vibrating. T, t, ch, ch. Vocal cords weren't vibrating. And it probably sounded like I was coming out of a Friday the 13th movie. But things to note. EQing a voice is specific to each person, microphone, and recording space. Things to know while EQing. Okay. So we are about to, we are about to move on now. Let's see here. Turn me back on. All right, cool. Okay. So anyway, we were about to move on to the EQing, uh, the speaking voice cheat sheet. What you saw there is, is basically I'm saying I try not to boost or cut by more than about five or six dBs unless it's an extreme case. So if we have a really sharp sibilant, I will do whatever it takes to achieve the desired outcome, whether that be more clarity, stifling the, the uh, sibilance, adding richness. You know, it's really just dependent on the microphone, the person, the recording space, so on and so forth. You know, that's just kind of a, a general guideline that I like to say, you know, sometimes less is more. But we're going to do whatever we have to do to achieve the desired outcome, like that's the bottom line. And you will definitely see me doing that in the course. So ladies and gentlemen, that concludes it for today. If you are interested in the course, feel free to reach out. And until next time, stay safe, stay positive. I got your back.